Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to insert symbols. Let's get started. So inserting symbols can uh, be very useful in PowerPoint because as you look down at your keyboard, you're going to notice that you don't have uh, everything that you need like a copyright or a trademark symbol um, as well as other symbols on the keyboard. There's just not enough keys to uh, get that done. So the way that we fix that problem inside of PowerPoint is we have to insert the symbol from a list of symbols and luckily PowerPoint has a huge list for us to choose from. So if you go to the insert tab right here you're gonna see that symbols has its own group right over here and this says symbols. Now notice it's currently grayed out. The reason that it's grayed out for me right now is if if I just try to click on symbol, it's not going to let me because it doesn't know where I want to put the symbol. And so um, here's kind of what you can do to fix that problem. Let's say that Avid Vintage is the name of the company, and I want to put, um, say, a trademark symbol right after this. Okay. Now, trademark symbol, for those of you that don't know, it's that little TM that you'll often see after names of companies and things like that. Um, so if you look at your keyboard, you can't just type in TM. It's not going to look good or try to like reduce the size of this. It's it's just not going to look very good. So instead we're going to insert a symbol. So if you uh, go to the spot where you want to insert the symbol and now you go to the insert tab and the symbols group and you hover over symbol you'll see it's in blue now and it says add symbols that are not on your keyboard. You'll see this is an Omega symbol right here and so now we can go ahead and choose from a variety of options including mathematical symbols, currency, copyright, anything like that. And so let's go right here and I'm going to choose symbol and you'll see that the symbol dialog box pops up and it says font normal text. I could actually choose any type of font that I want here. I'm going to leave it as normal text and then we have subsets. Subsets are all of the different uh, types of uh, symbols that we have available and you guys can scroll through this list. It's actually quite long so like if I wanted Greek alphabet um, this is where I might go is Greek extended. Uh, they have currency symbols down here and so there's all kinds of symbols and I'm pretty sure Microsoft Office updates them with every new version of Office and even with uh, software updates. So you'll see that um, there's a bunch of symbols here and it's kind of hard to know exactly where to start. Um, so basic Latin, it usually has most of them uh, that you would need, but also one area that you should be very interested in is right down here it says recently used symbols and if you've never used symbols before these are all of the kind of most popular ones so you know you have a uh, your uh, copyright right there there's trademark over here you got pi and uh, there's your um, that little R I think that's restricted and so um, I'm gonna choose uh, let's say I choose trademark for this one and it, if you click on it it'll say trademark sign let's see if I was right yeah uh, oh no it's uh, registered okay and so that's what that R is and so if I choose that TM right there and it says character code okay um, that's the unique character code and so if I click insert you'll see right here it actually doesn't close this on its own but you'll see in the background there's that little TM so that one looks good so I'll click close and let's say that I want to put a copyright symbol somewhere else let's say I want to put it right here after Jarvi chairs uh, maybe after the word Jarvi okay maybe that's the name of the company um, and the chairs are copyright so I'm gonna go right here insert tab symbols group I click symbol and then you'll see my list of symbols as well as the recently used ones and again um, I could if I'm really interested in finding something specific I could look through here uh, they even have different types of arrows and whatnot but um, uh, for this one I'm going to choose the copyright symbol which is this one right here and if I click on it okay you'll see that when I click it and I click insert okay you'll see the copyright symbols right there and I can now I can click close and once it's in there it kind of works like a piece of text so if I wanted to say reduce this so it doesn't take up so much space I could then uh, highlight it go to the home tab and uh, reduce the space or uh, re reduce the size of it. So uh, that's one way to do that. Okay, so um, that's how we insert symbols into PowerPoint. Hopefully um, that answered your question. If you do have a question related to this, I could try to help you out in the comment section. So please go ahead and type your question in there if you have one. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. Please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Um, that really helps me out and I, uh, I appreciate you watching. So thank you and have a nice day.